Hey guys, welcome back. Andrew here with Ambient Endeavors, and today we're checking out a brand new pedal from Universal Audio. It's called the Lion. It's the latest in the series of amp pedals that they've been doing. And now if you're familiar with the channel or have sort of seen some of the sights and sounds from the studio here, uh, you might notice that I'm a pretty big fan of a couple things, old Fender amps and uh, Vox circuits. There's a notable Marshall shaped hole in my collection of amps, aside from an old 68 Bassman that I still need to bring over to my tech to get up and running again. I don't really have that Marshall sound. And so when I heard about the Lion and when I got the opportunity to demo this pedal, I was pretty excited to have now a Marshall sound that is just phenomenal from clean to dirty uh, right at my disposal. So the Lion is a model of a 68 Super Lead with a few different variations uh, as you'd expect from these Universal Audio pedals. We'll run down some of the specs, we'll run down the control set, and then you'll hear a really extended sound sample section here in a minute uh, with what you can expect from clean to dirty. Uh, I try to kind of lean into some of my favorite clean tones at the beginning and then give you some of that kind of traditional crunchier uh, low mid heavy martial sounds as well. But one of the cool things I kind of discovered as I was playing this pedal and demoing it is that um, there's really some fantastic opportunities for clean tones from this pedal and from Marshall circuits. So uh, one of the reasons I love Fender amps is because of their sort of like sparkly crystal clear cleans. Um, and some of that comes from the fact that a lot of those circuits are pretty scooped in the mid range. So you get a fairly prominent low end, you get that sparkly top end, um, but the mid range is um, kind of scooped usually to allow for a lot of space uh, there. It's kind of why uh, tube screamers work so well with fenders. They enhance, they bring out that mid-range. Uh, and then on the other end you have Vox circuits, um, another beloved circuit of mine that kind of pronounces the upper mids um, but at the cost usually of the low end. So you kind of lose some of the bass, some of the bottom end in those circuits, um, but you get that like chimey, sparkly top end, uh, upper mids happening. With a Marshall, you really do kind of get this like full sound. Um, a lot of the imagery around Marshall amps, it kind of lends itself to them being like beasts, like ferocious. I mean, even the name of this pedal, the lion, the, they kind of have this like roar, this growl, whatever you want to say, uh, in sort of that vein. Uh, and that comes from the fact that you get this really um, big low end, you get these really warm, growly low mids, and you also uh, can get some sparkly top end out of these older uh, Marshall circuits, and that is captured in this pedal really nicely. So I really I was pleasantly surprised to kind of remember or rediscover the fact that uh, you can get some great clean tones that really cover a pretty wide range of the frequency spectrum if you want from these Marshall amps. Um, and we'll dive into that, like I said, in the sound samples. So from here, let's launch into the controls on this pedal. I really love the way that Universal Audio has laid out these amp in a box pedals. Um, they have kind of everything you need on the front, and then you also have the opportunity to utilize an app for saving presets and getting at some of the under the covers types of settings there too. So in the top row, you have volume one and volume two. Those adjust the volume of each channel on these amps. When you have uh, both of them past zero, they're jumped essentially. So they're as if you were putting a cable between those two inputs on an old you know four input amp there. Um, and each of them have their own kind of nuance and character uh, to how they saturate and how they affect the overall tone of the amp. Then you have your master output on the right here. Um, down to the bottom, you've got bass, middle, and treble as your EQs. In the middle row, you've got a set of toggles to adjust uh, more settings. You have on the left here, your cab selector with three options there. Um, you can also run it without a cab simulation there with the LED off. In the middle, you have this kind of control toggle, which either sets it to up to affect the alternate settings on the bottom row here, or if you hold it down, you can use it to store a preset. And then on the right here, you have the model selector. So up gives you a 68 super bass model. 
In the middle, you have a 68 Super Lead model, and then down gives you this brown sound, a variac powered uh, Super Lead that's been tweaked and kind of boosted, really souped up, hot-rotted uh, brown sound Super Lead model there. Um, the alternate settings, I think, really enhance this pedal, and we'll get into that in the sounds as well, but you get a room control to kind of add some like studio room atmosphere sound uh, and dimension to that. You have a presence control, which again, I think really enhances your ability to dial in some nice clean sounds with this pedal. And then a boost control, which gives you some added um, interaction there in the gain staging and saturation um, from really subtle kind of warmth to really get the sort of the front end of the amp uh, chugging with a boost in front of it there. Uh, stereo ins and outs. You have, uh, again, the ability to pair with the app over Bluetooth and a nine volt center negative power on the back here too. I'll note this is a 400 milliamp draw uh, on the current side of things, so be aware of that for powering these pedals. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna take a listen to the newest addition to the amp line uh, from Universal Audio, the Lion. I'm gonna be playing through my Jennings Voyager Deluxe guitar, and we're really gonna lean into predominantly this amp for our gain, all of our gain and, and tones. We're gonna add a couple effects before it, the UA Starlight for some delay at points, and then the UA Golden for some reverb pretty much throughout the sound samples. Check it out.
So there it is. That's the new Lion, the 68 Super Lead model amp pedal from Universal Audio. Uh, and we're just going to kind of play out here in the background some of those ambient clean sounds I was getting. One of my uh, favorite discoveries of this uh, Marshall in a Box was those sparkly cleans that you can get with just a nice amount of character and texture from that nuance of the Marshall circuits. And you can obviously get some really great crunch and uh, overdriven higher gain sounds from this as well um, I think it's a fantastic offering I love that they added this to the line I was a little bit um, surprised that this wasn't in their flagship run uh, with the dream and the ruby um, but here it is we've got it now and it's a great tool in addition to your uh, amp in a box collection thanks for watching see you later